Hey, today I'm going to walk you through how I created this pretty simple Pokemon character website layout with the help of some AI tools. So we can just go through and find versions that we like, upscale them, check them out closer. We can also regenerate the prompt to get more versions. This one's looking pretty good. So we're just gonna open it up in Photoshop and select the header and open it up in a new document. Then we can use the patch healing tool to clean up some of the extra items that we don't want in the, the background here. And then we can just save it. Then we just repeat that for all the other characters. So then we open up the character document, duplicate the layer, and use the object selection tool to select our character. Making sure that we're getting all of the character in the selection. So you may need to clean it up a little bit. And then we can just hit Command J to copy our selection to a new layer. Then we can just use the eraser to clean up whatever selections we don't want from this. Then we just go through and repeat the same process for all the other characters. So for our hero image, we're gonna do things a little differently. So I'm gonna use select subject to select our character and copy it to a new layer. And then I'm going to select subject again to get that same selection, but I'm going to expand it. So I wanna choose modify and expand it by about three pixels. So this will allow us to include some of that background. And then we're just gonna do content aware fill. And you can see that it, it does a pretty good job sort of replacing that content. Here we, we forgot to get the belly of it. So we're gonna modify our selection a bit to include the rest of the character just to clean up that background a bit more. So now you can see we have our character on its own layer and we have a completed background without any holes. This allows us to move things around and have a bit more freedom in how we move our character around. We can also use the healing brush if we want to touch up the background a bit. So we're going to use a similar approach to break our character into different parts. So we're going to use object selection to select the foreground of our character and the front torso part. And then we're going to use quick select to clean up the selection to make sure we're getting all the pieces that we want to and then break these into separate layers. I do find that it helps here to expand the selection slightly. Um, so by two pixels about just so that we're, we're not getting any outlines. So here you can see we have our foreground separated from our background. So now we're just going to do the same thing for the head and separate it onto its own layer. Then we just use content aware fill to fill in the gaps. So we just make a selection where the hole is and apply content aware fill. And then we can just do that to regenerate the body too, so we can have a bit of leeway in moving parts around.
So now we're gonna expand the background of the header image by outpainting it. And so we're gonna copy this into a new document and then offset it and make sure that the background is transparent. And this will allow us to outpaint the background using the Stability Photoshop plugin. So we choose the Dolly 2 tab and then make sure Image Edits is selected and we're using 1024 and then we just type in a prompt that describes the background and how we want it to look. So then we just pick the generation that we like, we bring it into our original document, cropping that out and making sure it lines up and then we can just reproduce this step for the other side of the image. So let's ask ChatGPT to scaffold this layout for us.
And so here's our results. We've got our animated character up top using CSS animations. We've got our characters all in a grid layout below. So pretty simple site. I just wanted to kind of walk you through uh, how you can use these different tools to, to generate this content and assist you in building it out.